What's up YouTube, back with another video and today I'm gonna go over five plays in the Suns playbook and at the end I'll show a few clips of me using some of these plays against real people and play now online. So with that being said, let's get into it. The first play is the cut fly alley. You can call this for anybody with cutter priority and if you don't know what play priorities are, I'll leave a link to a video in the description that'll help. So right here I call it for bridges and it's designed to get him a lob. So Chris Paul is gonna start the ball at the top and bridges is gonna be in a corner then he's gonna set a screen for a Chris Paul and after he sets the screen he gets the screen from Aiton and then cuts to the rim and if he gets behind his defender you can throw him a lob and if he's not open for the lob you can just hold the ball and choose to either take a screen from Aiton or Kaminsky both of which honestly aren't all that great but they are options so this play is pretty good and it's one of the few cutting plays that actually work as far as I can tell from my personal experiences and I remember this play from last year and I feel like it was more consistent last year than it is this year because there will be times where the defender just doesn't get hit by any of the screens and so he's not able to get behind his defender for the lob that'll happen quite a bit but you'll still get a lot of lob opportunities the next play is the quick five rip hammer you can call this for anybody that has three point priority and it's designed to get you a three in the corner so right here I call it for Devin Booker and he's gonna start on the wing and Chris Paul is gonna have the ball at the top then I'm gonna swing the ball over to Bridges on the opposite wing dribble up to the top pass it to Chris Paul and then on the opposite side of the court Johnson will set a screen for Booker and he will slide into the corner to get open for a three so I really like this play and it really catches people off guard because they're not really paying attention to the other side of the court. They're paying attention to you. So when you throw that pass, they just have to hope that the AI gets over the screen and contest because there's no way that they'll be able to do it. And they're usually not expecting you to do that. This play is also pretty useful against the 3-2 zone because in the 3-2, the corners are pretty exposed. So, so you can run this and get a lot of open looks. And I'll show some clips of me using this against a 3-2 in the practice but i also have a clip later on in a real gameplay where someone was playing 3-2 against me and i used this play the next play is the quick horn slice you can call this for anybody that has three point priority and you'll get two opportunities for a wing three so right here i call it for devin booker but bridges will be the one to get the shot in the first option so i have the ball chris paul at the top and i pass it to johnson on the elbow then ayton and paul will both set screens for bridges and Bridges will come out to the wing and if he's open you could pass it to him for a three now in the second option Booker will be the one to get the shot so again I have the ball Chris Paul at the top and pass it to Johnson on the elbow then Paul and Aiton will both set screens for Bridges but I'm not gonna pass it to them I'm gonna just hold the ball and then they'll set screens for Booker and he'll come out to the wing and get open for a three and this play could also be pretty useful against the 2-3 zone as well. Just make sure you hold the ball long enough. So I pass it to Johnson, I hold, and then I start backing down John Wall. And I'm only doing that to like get him out the play. Because if I back him down, that leaves Oladipo having to guard both Booker and Bridges on the three-point line. So as the play develops, I wait for Bridges to move over and I pass it to him for a wide open three. So I really like this play and it's very consistent. It's probably the most consistent play in the playbook. Whether it's your first or your second option, someone gets open a large percentage of the time. And I also like it because it has good counterplay to it. And when I run plays against people online, they start to notice it. And even though they don't know the play that I'm running, they'll start like following people around. So like if I'm calling a lot of plays for Devin Booker, they won't really know what he's about about to do or like what type of screens he's about to come off but they can guess that I'm calling something for Devin Booker so they'll like follow him around and then I get a shot I get a shot for Bridges in this case or maybe they think the play is for Bridges and then I hold the ball and the play is for Booker so I like it in that aspect because you can counter people that's trying to overplay and cheat the play the next play is the punch 35 rip you can call this for anybody that has post up low priority and even though it's a post up play i like using it to get a corner three so right here i call it for Aiton, but booker is going to get the shot so i have the ball chris paul on the wing and Aiton comes over to set a screen and as he does that booker will run baseline through two screens go into the opposite corner and get open for a three 
So I like this play. Corner threes are always good. And it can also be very effective against a 3-2 zone. And the last play is the ISO 12 rip. You can call this for anybody with isolation priority. And it's designed to be an isolation, but I like using it to get a mid-range shot. So right here, I call it for Devin Booker, and he's going to start on the wing, and Chris Paul is going to have the ball. Then Booker will get a screen from both Aiton and Johnson and get open in the mid-range area. So when you have the ball with Chris Paul or whoever your guard is, make sure you back up a little bit because if you stand too close to the three-point line, when Booker comes off the two screens, sometimes he'll bump into your defender and then his defender catches up and he won't get open. So if you back up a little bit, it gives him a lot more space to get open. And I remember this play from last year and I think it was maybe even 2K19 too. I felt like it's, it was more consistent in those other games than in this one, but you'll still get open a good amount of times and i really like it because it gets you a mid-range shot and the modern playbooks don't really have any plays that get you a mid-range shot but mid-range shots can be really good because they're easy to make and it can help you get a player in rhythm before you start shooting threes and i could also see it being very useful in my team if you have someone like kobe or jordan because once they come off those two screens if they're open then it's easy greens or you can just catch the ball go baseline shoot a fader or catch the ball take one dribble do a spin a spin jumper or you could just hold the ball back him down and do a post fade so that's pretty much it for all the plays and the suns have always had a pretty decent playbook but this is the first time that i've actually made a video about it and so i hope this helped you the rest of the video is just clips of me using some of these plays against people in play now online so i hope you enjoy hope the video helped you thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content two and a half minutes in Kaminsky outside, pass to Bridges, outside Paul, for three, Booker, let's go Book, hitting his third shot, at... boy if Rui Hachimura can consistently make three point shots he becomes that much more dangerous, pass to Booker, the Wizards making a switch here, and here's Paul 15 in his last outing Kaminsky outside shot clock at 6 oh you forgot about book you forgot about book <laughs> and wonderful balance from Harden. This dude could have been a running back of the highest caliber with his size, dexterity, and balance. Never lets the defense get him out of his rhythm. Ball outside. Booker with no foul. And a great assist by I think he's, is he playing 3-2 on me? And Harden absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown.